Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am going to be showing you all a full face of using nothing but makeup from the drugstore. That is going to be my look for the day. Um, I'm just kind of getting ready for work here and I thought why not turn on the camera and just do a certain type of look and just kind of document it. So today I'm using nothing but products from the drugstore for my face. Anyway, we'll jump right in. But before, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do post videos weekly, so you don't want to miss that. Let's jump in, okay. guys. Now to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Pixie by Petra Wake Up Mist and just kind of spritz the face. Over top of that, I'm going to go in with the Magic Lumi from L'Oreal Paris, this little primer. And if you have dry skin, this guy is awesome because it is very illuminating on the skin. I don't typically wear this primer in the winter, but in the summer, I will just do that wake up mist and this primer. Um, and then just go run some errands and oh my gosh, you look so glowing. And I don't know if you can tell on my face, but I have some issues going on. I got a pimple here coming up. I got one right here coming up and I got a big old hunker right here that is about to leave town. This thing, oh my goodness, two days ago was huge. And just this half of my face, I don't know what the deal is, but it is just doing some major acting up and we just can't have it. Alrighty, so my face is primed. I am going to go on in and do my eyebrows. I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Mine is in the shade Light Brunette. And I'm just gonna fill them in real quick. Next, I'm going to jump in with my foundation. I'm going to wait on my eyes and do those towards the end today. But I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me um, in the Dewy and Smooth. Mine is in the shade Classic Ivory. There we go. Oh, it tells me on the lid. And I used to use this foundation all the time, but I just kind of, like I had a bottle of it and I just kind of kept it away and I never opened it until just now. This is the first time I'm using this bottle. Um, I've had this one since before September, honestly, probably like July actually. And I used to use this stuff all the time. And then I went through like two or three bottles of it. And then I just kind of like switched and I went to some other stuff. And this is my first time back using it. And I have missed it. This guy is good. For my concealer, I am going to have to swatch some of these and see what is the lightest because none of these are my true shade. I don't use, I don't have any drugstore concealers that I use on a daily basis because none of them match me. Like none of them are lighter than my foundation. They're all honestly the same shade or darker. And this is me getting like the lightest shade concealers. So I kind of just kind of stopped buying them. Okay, that one is looking good so far. And the one that won was the Wet n Wild. Alrighty. And this one still, I don't even think is the correct shade. I think it's going to be too dark. Okay, this one's not bad. This one's not bad. I must be thinking of the e.l.f. one because in the packaging, the e.l.f. concealer in the lightest shade is super light looking. I mean, it really is. 
but then when you go to apply it on over your foundation it is like so much darker than the lightest shade of foundation that elf has Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Setting Powder in the shade 05 Fair. I guess I could, I shouldn't call it translucent because it does have a light color to it. It's a fair setting powder. There we go. Not translucent. My mistake. And I'm just going to set about halfway under my eye. I don't go all the way back with it just because I do some powder highlighter up through here and sometimes my bronzer hits up through here and I don't want too much of a powdery look. I like just that very nice kind of dewy, glowy, radiant look and you will get that by not completely setting the whole under eye. Now if you're oily, by all means go ahead, but if you're dry, you probably want to stop about halfway and just get basically the T-zone. Now let's see here. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer from Physicians Formula. I'm gonna be using the Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronze. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush here. Tap it in my bronzer, just kinda tap off the excess. Like I always do, start back towards the hairline. And then just kind of slowly taper your way in. Okay, I am going to use a little bit of blush today. Um, same Physicians Formula Butter Brush, Butter Blush. I'm going to be using in the shade Natural Glow. This is what it looks like. Just this little guy right here. Super cute, super cute. Take just a big old flat top fluffy brush just kind of dust it in it and then just kind of sweep back on those cheeks there we go there we go all right i'm gonna go in with some l'oreal highlighter this is the true match lumi powder glow illuminator I'm gonna be using the same Highlighting brush that I always do. Just this guy right here. It's from Wet n Wild. I got it from the Christmas collection. I picked this up at Walgreens. And just kind of go on the highest parts of my cheekbone. Now that that's done, I'm going to go back in with that pixie spray and just kind of mist my face. Now that I have sprayed my face, I'm going to go back in with just a little bit more of this Maybelline powder and just kind of get my eyelids. Now this is the <laughs> palette I'm going to be using for my eyes today. This is the LA Girl Blush Collection the spice and these are the shades i'm going to be working with i think and i might use i think i'm going to use my um physicians formula bronzer as well and i am going to do my best to create a very nice eye look for you all today okay first off I'm going to be using this far shade over here, this lightest shade in the palette, and use just kind of a bigger fluffy brush. Just kind of dab it in it, and I'm just going to kind of go all over the lid with this one. Okay, next I'm going to be going in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And using just kind of a fluffy brush again. And I'm just going to kind of work this one into my crease. Next, I'm going to go in with this very light pink shade. 
right here. And I'm going to be using this IT Cosmetics brush. This is the airbrush, airbrush crease. And I'm just going to kind of buff this one into my crease on top of that other shade. Okay, now I'm going to pop in with a little bit darker of a pink shade here. And just kind of go in that same formation. Next, I'm going to go in with this more brown shade here. Just to kind of tone down some of this pink we have going on. And this one, I'm really just going to work on kind of the outer corner of the eye. Okay, so for the lids, I am going to actually take this e.l.f. highlighting palette here. And I'm going to go in with this top corner shade that has a little pink essence to it. And I'm just going to go over that lid spot. I'm going to go in and do a wing liner today. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. And I'm just going to kind of create a wing to this look. Now that our wing is done, I'm just going to pop on with some mascara. And I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. Since I don't have a drugstore lipstick, I just popped on some chapstick. And that's just how we're going to finish this look off for today. But this is the completed final finished product here. This is my full face using nothing but drugstore products. And to be honest, I'm kind of pleased with the look. I really like the overall radiance that my skin has. This glowy, luminous just appearance that it just carries. And I really do like this. And this is a very, very easy look to achieve. And it was so affordable too. So if you don't have the money or if you just don't want to spend the money on these high-end products, go to your drugstore. Check out some of these products because they're so worth it. But thank you all. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.